Good morning or good afternoon, depending on what time you're listening to this devotion. And I, I trust that you are listening. We've had some good responses and uh, I know they're a blessing to people and I hope today's will be to, uh, as well. Um, and our drive-in service, we use this uh, scripture that we're going to look at today. We're just going to go at it a little different angle. Uh, we're living in the last, last days. How are you supposed to live in the, in the last days? The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Perilous means dangerous. We're living in a dangerous day. We're living in the last days, the days of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we start reading, we see in verse 2, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and holy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. That's the day that we live in today. Men are lovers of their own selves. Today it's all about me, myself, and I, covetous. Um, our, our whole society is covetous. Uh, the, our marketing and television commercials and ads and magazines are all built on this principle that we just can't leave, live without it. And men today are boasters and proud and blasphemers. It's amazing how people talk about God and take God's name in vain. And, and it's just normal. It's just natural. Disobedient to parents don't even need any comment on that. We know that's true. Unthankful and holy without natural affection. And that, 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 that breaks my heart when uh, moms aren't moms to their kids anymore and kids rebel toward parents. That They always have but it goes farther than it has. And uh, men with men, women with women, this no natural affection today, truce breakers, uh, they're, 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 people lie. They don't keep their word. False accusers, incontinent. That means they have no self-control. Fierce despisers of those that are good. They despise people that stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. We live in a day when lewd, the, the lewd is applauded, the perverse is accepted, and the holy is considered passe. That's the day we're living in. And, and, and we get, as we keep reading, we get down to verse 12, we realize you will face danger. The Bible says, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Um, I heard years ago, and it's always stuck with me, that a man of uh, uh, conviction will be a man of conflict. Uh, we don't fit in this world. And as the world waxes worse and worse, evil seducers are waxing worse and worse, we fit in less and less. Um, the persecution is on the rise for Christians. Now, we're not giving our lives like some countries are. We don't sign our death warrant when, when we get saved like in some countries. But it's just people who just push us away and don't, recognize the Lord and, and, and Christianity has a whole different meaning uh, to them. Your lifestyle today is not the norm. A Christian that lives for God, that lifestyle is not the norm. Why? Well, because evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. People are deceived today. They're deceived by the devil, deceived by the world, deceived by the flesh. In um, chapter 4 and verses 1 through 4, Paul is charging Timothy. He said, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all longsuffering and doctrine. For the time will come, this day we're living, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. It's amazing what's being taught in churches today. And they shall turn away from the, uh, turn away their ear from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. How sad. What do we do? My soul, what do we do? In this day that we're living, how can we reach the world? In this day that we're living, what are we supposed to do? Well, verse 14 in our text says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Be continuous. Don't quit. Keep going. 
in that that you already know. And then he says in verse 15, And then from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise to salvation through faith, in, in, which is in Christ Jesus. Continue in that that you already know, that you've already been assured of. You've already seen it proven in your life. Continue in the word of God. What do we do? How do we live today? I think the key word is this, continue. Continue loving people. Continue witnessing. Continue reaching out. Con continue showing compassion. Continue. Continue in the Word of God. Continue in those things that you already know. Yeah, it's a different day. It's a different day. The Lord's coming, and He's going to take us home. But until then, listen, continue. Father, we love you. Bless our people. Bless this devotion to hearts, God. Give us the spiritual backbone, conviction, courage that will stand for you. In Jesus' name, amen.